Just a few minutes ago, some ATF investigators showed up here. They are looking in a field right across from the scene here. There are about a half dozen ATF investigators. We are told by sources that they are searching for some evidence based on a tip they recently received. Now, as for that person of interest, we have learned that he has been questioned and released by the ATF and arson investigators. He is still, though, in custody of Detroit police on unrelated outstanding warrants. Investigators, of course, still trying to solve this arson mystery. Detroit arson and ATF investigators back at the scene today looking for more evidence as they try to figure out who started the blaze that brought down a brick wall and injured seven firefighters last Friday. Investigators questioned a 29-year-old Detroit man who they called a person of interest, but he has not been arrested in connection with the fire. The person that was questioned was uh, from the neighborhood. Uh, we didn't know about him and it was through the calls that led to that. He had an association uh, in, in the area and it was valid to, to question him and we wouldn't have known if it wasn't for the help of the public. The fire that was set in the east side building could have been deadly. Six of the firefighters were badly hurt when the front of the building collapsed on top of them. They were left with broken bones, spinal cord injuries and head wounds. Investigators say that fire started in the rear storage room of the Metro PCS cell phone store. We're told the 29 year old person of interest was cooperative but investigators are still looking for more tips from the community. Like everything they ebb and flow, but it really what matters is uh, the key critical tip. You know, so if uh, someone has information, again, that, you know, please call us, and then I can guarantee you that it will be followed up on. Back here live, you're looking again at ATF and arson investigators. About a half dozen of them you can see kind of combing through that field there, which is located right across the street from the building where that fire happened. Again, investigators are really pleading with the public for more tips in this case. They are offering a $15,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. If you have information, you can call 1-800-44-ARSON. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Anu Prakash, Channel 7 Action News.